Actually, history is filled with courageous actions by which one generation after another have discharged their responsibilities to the preceding ones as well as to the future ones. Let me recite some of them to convince ourselves that we can follow their footsteps if we work together. Over a century ago, citizens' voices and I dare say our voices sang together with that of President Lincoln's to issue the Emancipation Proclamation. Those voices, our voices, together with one of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. have gained the civil rights for everybody in the United States. In the present century, the 21st, and I pray that there will be hundreds and thousands more centuries, and I pray that we are wise enough to guarantee them, our voices, together with those of Professor Muhammad Yunus and Grameen Bank, have started to liberate the poor from their shackles. And in this century also, our voices, together with those of Wangari Matai and Al Gore and many others, have started to restore this precious earth to its naturalness. And within this century, and I insist by 2020, my friends, our voices will, together with those of Secretary General Ban Ki-moon's and President Obama's, and I sincerely hope joined by the voices of the leaders of other nuclear weapon states to create a nuclear weapon free world. Listening to the UN Secretary General, I'm genuinely excited. Even before Barack Obama won the US presidential election, the Secretary General had identified the key steps the international community needs to take to address the nuclear threat. His five point plan deserves our unstinting support. The US Conference of Mayors, an American organization consisting of approximately 1,200 cities with populations larger than 30,000, which has been the world's leading national mayoral association on this issue, has formally asked President Obama to call at the 2010 NPT review conference for negotiations leading to a nuclear weapon free world by the year 2020. <laughs> and such support from one organization after another is spreading all over the world. We have to support good leaders such as Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and President Obama and others. We must support and work with them in order to reach our goal by 2020. In order for us to do our job better, I would like to ask you to recruit any mayor you happen to know who has not joined the organization yet. Please convince your mayors Work with them to hold concerts and other events in your cities so that more people become aware of what is going on and also to encourage them to spread the word that we are the majority and we will abolish nuclear weapons by 2020. One last remark I'd like to make is that Hiroshima is conducting a feasibility study to whether we should bid or not uh, for the 2020 Olympic Games to coincide with the dawn of a new nuclear weapon-free world. Although it was not our intention in the beginning, we have found out that talking about the Hiroshima Olympic Games in 2020 has drawn many people into our side. And some of those were never interested in, in this subject at all. However, many have felt comfortable to talk about the abolition of nuclear weapons by 2020 after declaring that they support the 2020 Hiroshima Olympic Games. 
this is something new, but it is something that we've, we have found very interesting and encouraging. And the circle of the supporters of Mayors of Peace, as a result, is widening. Just mention the Olympic Games, and you'll get in a friend you know, who will work with you for the abolition of nuclear weapons by 2020. As a result, the tide of the world is flowing in the right direction. It's partly because your effort and also the leaders' efforts. We know it and we know that uh, we can make it greater because we are part of it and because we are the majority. We understand the legacy of our hibakusha and our obligations to future generations. That is why we want to reaffirm now that we have the responsibility. Through our work the world over, we have shown that we have the power, the power to change our future. Together with Secretary General Ban, President Obama, Prime Minister Hatoyama, and all other le leaders of the world who are with us, we can make our dreams a reality. We can create a world without nuclear weapons and hold the Olympic Games to celebrate that occasion. Let us work together for our dreams. Together, we can make it a reality. To paraphrase the expression of John Lennon, when you dream alone, it is only a dream, but when we dream together, it is a reality. Let's make our dream a reality. We can do it together. Thank you very much.